This video is brought to you by Chelsea at Smart City Locating. Chelsea has rapidly become one of the highest rated luxury apartment locators in Houston, Texas. If you or anyone you know is looking for luxury apartment living in the Houston area, then there is no one better to serve you than Chelsea at Smart City Locating. Contact information in the description of this video. All right, so we're gonna do several things to our Jeep today. And, um, you know, a few routine maintenance things. And then a few upgrades uh, that I'm really excited about is we're going to upgrade the front track bar to the Steer Smarts Yeti XD adjustable front track bar. And as you can see, this is one heck of a front track bar, All right? It's really beefy. It is going to last a long time. It's going to provide significantly more strength and assurance over the stock track bar, which we currently have. Okay, we're, we are also going to upgrade the rear track bar to this Rough Country HD forged track bar, adjustable rear track bar. And as you can see, it's pretty beefy as well. And, you know, I know in the past Rough Country did not have the greatest reputation, but after a lot of research and talk, talking to some people, um, there are some really good uh, reviews and recommendations about this new Rough Country HD forged rear track bar. So I'm going to give it a shot. It's definitely an upgrade over the stock track bar. Uh, it's much stronger, beefy, and, um, you know, and it's adjustable. So that's definitely something that, um, you know, that I want. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. More, more. There, perfect, stop. Okay, <clears throat> now. Perfect. Okay. Oh, yeah. Now, yeah. My job is to make that look real easy. How's that? You got it? Okay, now we'll torque it up here in a minute. All right, so what we're going to do now, we're going to tighten them. 
cross our fingers. Then we'll torque everything up. Yeah. That's for everybody. But this one won't quite, I mean, yeah, maybe if it goes further down, but because what do you mean? this deal might, could rock forward. I mean, no, no, no. does that sound like a vacuum? Okay. That Is it the G? Yeah. Nice and quirky. And now this is all. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, I can hit it right here. All right. So we put the uh, we put the new Steer Smart Yeti HD adjustable track bar on. So the steering wheel is off center a little bit. So now we're going to recenter the steering wheel by the drag link bolts right here. We're going to loosen that up, adjust it so that the steering wheel is straight or as straight as we can get it, and uh, tighten it back up. And that'll be good until we can get it in for a uh, laser alignment. Perfect. All right, so uh, we want to make sure that the axle is centered. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the best we can right now. And we're gonna line this up with this outer edge of this tire, and that is 14 inches and 5 eighths, 14 inches and 7 eighths. So it needs to come a quarter inch. All right, we need to come over this way. It'll go right in. Hang on. Um, a little, a little more. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, right in? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to remeasure it with my handy dandy invisible tape measure. Not invisible. Okay, so let's see what we got now. All right, so we got the new HD forged rear adjustable track bar put on. Got everything torqued up, torqued to specs. And so now we'll just have to. You know, see how it drives. Check it after we've driven it for a little bit and just see, make sure everything is staying, uh, staying centered. Make sure the geometry is all staying the way that it's supposed to. And there we have it. We got our Steer Smarts Yeti XD adjustable track bar installed. Got everything torqued to specs. Got the steering wheel straight. Now, of course, I'll take it into a, a good shop to make sure the alignment is on. Get a good, good laser alignment. And then, uh, yeah, so I'm liking it. Now the next step would be to also replace this factory drag link and factory tie rod with the Steer Smarts Yeti XD to match the uh, track bar. Like I was saying before, this was by no means a how-to video. This was just a video of me simply trying something for the first time. Heck, I didn't even know what a track bar was several months ago. But one thing that I do know is how much I've learned by diving right in and doing these projects just by watching a few YouTube videos and, and learning through experience. We have several more projects coming up just like this that I've never done before. 
and that I have no idea how to do. But I'm going to watch a few videos, learn how to do it, and dive right in and, and see what happens. Please feel free to comment on what we did well and what you think we should have done differently. I am definitely not opposed to constructive criticism, but I will say I took this to get an alignment and the shop said that everything looked like it was pretty aligned. So I'd like to think I did a pretty good job and I am definitely gaining confidence as I tackle these projects on my own. So if you like this content or you like any of our other video content of our adventures, which we have several more of those coming up pretty soon, then please like, subscribe, and hit the notification so that you can be notified whenever we upload some more content. Thank you.